Well, parents know there will come a time during the winter when cabin fever sets in for kids. The repercussions sometimes come in the form of damage to walls. Maybe you've seen that. Our next guest says there is hope. She's DIY expert Anitra Macadon in Charlotte this morning. Hi, Anitra. Hey, how you doing, Mary? Hey, we're doing great. It's good to see you again. I think it's um, tough to think about winter uh, while we're in September. It's beautiful uh, in our neck of the woods, but we will need to get a plan in place. So how can parents create a cool kid cave? Uh, you know, um, for me, one of my biggest tips or tricks, if you will, for creating a kid cave, I like to break a room up into specific zones uh, so it doesn't feel so cluttered and lost. Um, fun zones, if you will. So we have a work and study zone over here. Um, to my right, we've got a great play zone. In the back, there's a movie zone, hangout zone, um, even a gaming zone where you put a nice game table and chairs. Uh, and the best way I find to do this is by anchoring these zones with colorful rugs, lighting, mm -hmm. even shelving. Your room's gonna feel bigger by breaking up into smaller zones. What about it's some, weird, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I, but but it does make sense because I think about that not just in a space for kids, but throughout the house. So when you have those designated areas, um, that it, it changes yes. things visually. What are some of the mistakes? You're a professional, so what do you see that parents do if, if they're they're trying to create that space? What can our viewers avoid? You know, uh, the biggest mistake I see parents make, uh, they create a room for them, not one that their kids are really going to love. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of your viewers out there may get a little upset when I say this, but I recommend you go out and buy a gallon of paint because I guarantee your kids are tired of those beige walls. They're not digging them anymore. You want to add some color. This is a space that should inspire your kids. They should have fun and feel free to be exactly who they are in this space. How can we child-proof this space, though, so that it, it holds up oh, to some of the yeah. challenges and the, the things child. they put it through? Yep, think about this. Parents know their kids. Uh -huh. They're going to horse around in the house, and it takes all of a split second for this lacrosse stick to go through the wall, or even a baseball bat or pool cue, right? That's why I recommend if you're doing your own kid cave, I recommend Purple High Impact XP Drywall by National Gypsum. And here's why. Uh, standard drywall, a bat is going to leave a giant hole. And repairing it can be costly and time consuming. So um, the thing about the high impact though, this stuff, it's, I feel like it's basically ready for life. Um, it's ready for anything that your kids or you can throw at it, including a bat. Um, and a bonus for me, uh, is that it's all moisture mold and mildew resistant, all purple products. They're moisture mold and mildew resistant products. Um, but you're probably thinking, Anitra, what makes it so strong? Like how could a drywall yeah. really hold up to a bat, right? So uh, there's a mesh embedded into the core of this drywall. And all you need to know about that is that lacrosse stick will not go through this wall. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> all right, so let's talk straight. Is this something that uh, if you're not an have a DIYer, can you still hang drywall? Yeah, no, I, uh, first of all, um, if I could do it, anybody could do it. You know, I was just like you guys. I was a, a little girl that had the desire to make things pretty and I didn't have any money. So I had to learn how to do it myself. Um, I'm not a second or third generation contractor. Um, I'm, I would say just uh, just be fearless. Um, and you know what's great? We have a great website that has how-to videos to help you look mm -hmm. like a pro. So my one recommendation would be um, grab a friend and don't be afraid to laugh at yourself when you <laughs> screw things up. I know I do that right. a lot. <laughs> what's the website? And then we'll let you go. Askforpurple.com. All right. Anitra, thank you.